but we must do to right now. Hi guys. I am late. Sorry. Hi. Good, good evening, teacher. Hi. Good evening. Hi. 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 Um. Okay. I have most of you. I don't see neither of the two Carlas. <laughs> Let me check. Yeah. How are you doing, guys? Well, Carlos here. Carla Chan is not here. How's everything? What's new? Well, I'm freezing. <laughs> I'm freezing right now. It's raining, so I want to go to sleep right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're going to forget about that for a second and then go to sleep. Yeah. Time will fly. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's wearing. Carla, are you not cold? Learning a tank top. Look at her. <laughs> Brave. <I'm not> <laughs> Fernando, you're not. I know, Fernando, you're in San Miguel. How are you going to be cold? <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what that is right there. Josue, I only see like half of your face, Josue. So I don't have an idea. Sorry. That's everything, Josue. Yeah, okay. yeah, it's good. Everything is good. All right good. Yeah. yeah, it's gonna be cold here for a long time so yeah sweater is my new everyday outfit sweaters hoodies all of that okay let's continue working um mm -mm. yeah we were going to see imperatives right that was the last thing and how do you form imperatives do you remember it was very really easy to do that how was it Oh, you've forgotten imperatives. I said, give me some verbs, and you started giving me some verbs, like for example, open, send up, wake up, right? Go. This is the imperative, and it's also the infinitive form. Okay, so. Uh, to make the imperative, you use the infinitive form, simple as this. And what is the negative form again? To open. You have not. Sorry? You say open the door and then? Don't open the door. Don't open the door. This is the negative form. Okay, stand up, negative. Don't stand up. Um, don't stand up. Yeah, connect it though. Don't stand up like this. Okay, wake up. Negative form. Don't wake, wake up. up. Wake up. <laughs> Imagine you're telling someone, hey, don't wake up. Don't wake up, okay? <laughs> you already woke them up by the time you tell them that. Okay, go. Don't go. Don't go like go. a song. Right. Okay, so let's see how the imperative is used. Please have your notebook handy so you can take notes. Engage, all right. Let's write as many details as we can. Let's watch. Hi again, listen to the audio program. Please pay attention because at the end of the conversation, I will ask you some questions. Get ready. Listen and practice. Can I borrow your phone to call my boss? I can't believe you still don't have a cell phone. Here you go. Thanks. Now, what do I need to do? First of all, be sure to turn it on. And don't forget to dial the area code. Okay, I can see the number, but I can't hear anything. That's because you haven't pressed the call button. Oh, good. It's ringing. Try not to get too excited. You'll probably get his voicemail. Hi, this is Joe Jones. You're right. It's a recording. Sorry, you call right Make sure now. to hit the end button, or else you'll leave our conversation on his voicemail. Ready? Who owns the phone? Who are they calling? What's the first thing to do? What should the woman press? But I can't hear anything. All right, can you see this dialogue? Let me go to YouTube, maybe it's better there. Mm. So we can practice it. 
Hold on. Anything. That's because you haven't pressed the call button. Oh, good. It's ringing. Try not to. Can you see? Yes, a little bit. I can see clearly. Yes. Yeah. All right. Uh, please take a screenshot so we can practice this dialogue. But first, tell me, where can you see the interactive form? Where do you see the imperative form? Mm. Let's underline it. Remember, the imperative is simply um, the verb with no conjugation in the imperative form. Let's try to find some. Mm, don't, don't have? Don't have, where is it? Don't have a, no, 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 because it says you still, the thing with the imperative is you don't have a subject. Okay. Yep, there's no subject. So, for example, here, try not to get too excited is one. Try. If you notice, there's no subject. What else? Make sure yes, to get this, the sub that's imperative to make sure very good good it's ring i think that's it honestly oh here be uh, you're trying not to get too excited yes i'm impressed i can't think now what do we do here you go that's it be sure try <coughs> start the sentence with with the verb right Let's practice that dialogue. And I would like you to give instructions on, on something different. So let me write it for you. First, practice this dialogue the way it is. And then I would like you to, you don't need to follow the, the dialogue the second time, but I would like you to give instructions on, on how to install, uh, it might be difficult. I will give you options, all right? How to install Facebook on your phone. or how, how to download it to your phone. You can give cooking instructions like how to make um, a maruchan if you want, right, easy. Okay, and your own idea. This is actually true, your own idea. So I would like you to give, write down the instructions in pairs and then I will ask some of you to share them, right? So first, practice the dialogue. Second, write instructions for either of these three topics. Is that clear? Yes? Yes. All right, awesome. Let's practice. Right. We're going to do that in pairs. So accept the invitation, please. Let's do it. Julia, did you receive an invitation? Julia? Julia Aguirre? Can you hear me?
Now we have to change and try to to talk about Facebook, I think. Yeah, it can be Facebook, Amaru Chan, or anything you want to give instructions for. Okay, how how to install Facebook on your phone? I think mm, you can try download it of the App Store. I don't know. Uh -huh, so first, go go to the App Store. Go to the App Store. Mm -hmm. Then and try to then try to search Facebook. Uh -huh, try to find create a profile. Uh -huh. Next, create a Next, profile. Create a profile. Uh -huh, so one, two. First of all, be sure to turn it on. And don't forget to dial the area code. Okay. I can I can't see the number, but I can't hear anything. That's because you haven't pressed the call button. Oh god, it is ringing. It is ringing. Try not to get ring. Mm -hmm. Try not to get too excited. You're probably getting his Voicemail. You're you are right. It is recording. Make sure to hit the end button, or else you leave our conversation on his voicemail. Voicemail. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then. Now work on some of the instructions. Uh huh. Yeah, try mm -hmm. to read the instructions for how to make Marichan or download Facebook, whichever you want. Okay. Who to make the Maruchan? Yeah, okay. Who to make Maruchan and how to install Facebook account? Yes. Okay. How to prepare a Maruchan? Do you know? Do you know how? How do it? Uh, well, um, it's very you, simple. Yes, it's very simple. We For prepare you. I don't remember how to say when you put the water in the bowl. Bowl. Uh, is okay. it pour water in a bowl and then heat it? Ah, okay. Yes. It's pour. Oh, pour um, I I can use the microwave for. Three, two or three minutes, and later you put the imperative. water in the cup. Use the imperative. So say, uh, pour water in a bowl, then uh -huh. place the the bowl in the microwave. But try to use imperative uh, with okay. the verb. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, internet. Oh yeah. Don't forget to connect the internet, right? <laughs> to very important. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And yeah. internet without a license. Okay. <clears throat> so you guys finished? Mm, yes, I think. Uh, what is yes. that the right? Uh, oh, the Marican or a Facebook or both? Our both. own idea. Ah, okay. Uh, okay. To, the, the, to, three, the three things. Oh, great. Uh, to, Facebook, Marochan, or the, uh, how channel. to learn to drive a car. <laughs> awesome. Okay, I want to listen to that. We're going to go back and I'll have you share. Okay. All righty. So, well, Carla and Fernando made a lot of progress because they wrote instructions for the three of them. They were very efficient. <laughs> so, Fernando and Carla wrote about how to learn to drive, right? Drive a car. What yes. are the instructions, guys? Teach us. Come on. 
share some wisdom with us. Go ahead. <laughs> Can we discuss about going to a school or just learn by by our own. Uh -huh, by ourselves, or you can say on our own, on our own, by ourselves. By ourselves. Yes, uh, with okay. a family car. Okay, so let's make it in, in the interactive form. For example, borrow a car or get a car. Then what else? Uh, then. Well, uh, we didn't finish the, the lesson. <laughs> I was so excited to hear this. <laughs> All right, who wants to share? Roberto? Hi. Who did you work with? Excuse me? Who are you working with? Oh. Who? <laughs> who are you working with? With Paul, Noé, who was with you? Okay, no, who Richard. was with Roberto? Uh, give some instructions, please. Oh, there was okay. Our instruction. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, how to install Facebook in the smartphone? Okay. Uh, first, uh, download the app. Uh, download the app. Download the app. Uh, run the file. Uh, um, type, yeah, oh, you open it. Uh, type your uh, Facebook profile or create a new one. Yeah. Who, who was with you, Roberto? Mm. Okay. Me. Okay, now I continue, go ahead. Uh, first, open the Google Apps. Oh, no, no, continue where he left off. <laughs> ah. Step four. Okay. Uh, install the Facebook, Facebook application. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, type your email in the field for login, mm -hmm. type the password, uh, click on login. Click on login. Wow, where did, uh, did you get that from the internet, guys? <laughs> it's so detailed. <laughs> you can't type how to download Facebook and they're just reading the instructions. <laughs> no, but yes, the required field. I like that vocabulary, it's very specific. Okay, awesome. Thank you, great job. Not everybody participated, but it's all right. You're gonna get a chance. So uh, here you're gonna get a deeper explanation, right? Let's pay attention, take notes if necessary, have your notebooks ready, and let's watch. With this video, you shouldn't have any doubts about how to use it, I hope, but if not, I can help you. Hello everyone, before you watch the video, I want to remind you that imperatives are commands and they don't need a subject. Also, for giving suggestions, we will use an imperative as well as an infinitive. Stay around for more explanation. Imperatives and infinitives for giving suggestions. Be sure to turn it on. Don't forget to dial the area code. Make sure to hit the end button. Remember to pay the bill every month. Try not to talk for too long. This is how we'll use imperatives and infinitives for giving suggestions. When using an imperative, the subject is never mentioned and they always begin with a verb. And as said on the previous explanation, the infinitive is to plus a verb. Now let's think about a situation. These two kids are new to their English class and they say, we don't understand English. So let's give them a suggestion. We can say, study your verbs. But this sounds more like an instruction. So to make it a bit more polite and to actually sound like a suggestion, we may add, make sure to study your verbs. Check at the beginning we have no subject and then a verb, which means it's an imperative. Make sure. 
moving forward to our infinitive to study. So when we put an imperative with an infinitive together, we can come up with a great suggestion. We will leave you now with some common expressions we use as imperatives to give suggestions. Be sure, make sure, don't forget, remember, try. Let's make examples using these expressions. Be sure to practice with your friends. Make sure to use a dictionary. Don't forget to think in English. Remember to do your English homework. Try to pronounce properly. Now read these suggestions. Be sure to speak in your native language. Make sure to forget your dictionary. Don't forget to stay quiet in class. Remember to translate into your native language. Try to mispronounce the words. You will agree with me that they are not good suggestions to give an English student. Therefore, we need to add the word not to make them positive suggestions. So the word not will go between the imperative and the infinitive. Now it is your turn. Ready to come up with examples of your own? Try it and write them on our discussion box. properly. Okay, this is what we're gonna work with now because the first instructions, instructions we wrote are instructions you would commonly use or you would commonly find in websites, right? Because if you, if you look for it, look, I'm going to show you actually, so you know, you know what I'm saying. Um, mm -mm, hold on. Oh my gosh, so many things. Okay, yeah. <laughs> the mess. Mm -hmm. So, for example, imagine how to download Facebook. You're going to see the imperative right away. Look, can you see the imperative here? Yeah. Yep. Right make there. Sure. Right. Go, Go. Make sure. What else? Right click. This is the verb. Click. Okay. Click. Copy. Paste. Click. Imperative. Simple as that. Okay. So this is very common in written instructions, but when you're talking to somebody, it's not polite to say, stand up, right? Listen, move. It's not polite. So when you're verbally speaking, it's not okay to do this. If you're cooking and you're like doing a cooking show, it's good right now. Open the lid, pour the water, right? Mix or stir the soup and so on. So if you're cooking or if they're written instructions, it's okay. But when talking to somebody, it's not polite. So we're going to have to use the expressions we just saw, we just seen. Uh, so let's go back to that. If I can find them. <laughs> I need to close my tab before class. Right. So some of the expressions, what are they? You need to hear, right? Let's see. Let's write them down. Did you write them down? Let's write them because we're going to use them right now. So write, be sure, write it down in your notebook, be sure, be sure to. That's what I need you to write, okay? Be sure to. Next one. Let's read it and write it. Make sure. sure. Make sure or to. Sure. This is to be more polite, okay? Next. Don't forget. Don't forget to. Don't forget to. Very good. Next. Remember, Remember to. Remember to. Remember to. Remember to let it into your heart. We're going to sing that song on Monday. Yeah, yeah it has a yeah. lot of imperatives and it, this is included. So we're going to sing that song on, on no, we're not going to sing, we're going to listen to it. Remember to and finally try right. to. Try to. Very good. So this is affirmative, an affirmative advice, you can say. But what if we want to make it negative? Where do we put not? Not. Where, <laughs> but where do we place it? Be sure next to that uh, or be sure not to? After the imperative, be sure before the... Be sure before the, not the verb. Mm, before. Uh -huh, before two. Before the impaired before the um, the infinitive. So look, here it is. Right. 
that is a negative form, you're going to put it before the infinitive. Okay? So you can say, be sure not to, make sure not to. What else? Don't forget not to. Oh, this doesn't make any sense, guys. No. <laughs> Don't forget not to say. Oh. No, it doesn't yes. make sense. That would be remember or don't forget is the opposite. No, no. Yeah. Remember, I don't, I don't like this one. All right, remember not to. Don't remember be. not to. Mm -hmm, that's good, remember not to. And try not to. Try not to. Yes, this one in the negative form, I wouldn't suggest you use it, okay? Mm -hmm. So. Sure the last. Not try not to. That's good. Okay. I have a question. Mm -hmm. Try not. With the last phrase, I can just don't try to mispronounce the word. Mm, no, it means something different. No. No intentes mm. mal pronunciar. But it means something else. Ah, okay. Intenta no mal pronunciar is what you're trying to say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's different. Okay, okay so okay. here's what we're going to do. I sent you an image. Did you see it? This image. Look, right here. We're gonna play this game in small groups, okay? Yes. For Thank example, you. I'm gonna say, I have a problem, okay? You're gonna give me advice in a polite way. It can be negative or affirmative. So I'm gonna say, um, <laughs> okay, this is true, kind of. I can't sleep at night. Give me some advice using these expressions. Negative or affirmative, go ahead. I can't sleep at night is number five, right next to an octopus. Can you see? <laughs> number five. So give me some advice. Not Don't forget to drink a cup of tea. Uh-huh. What else? Try not to drink coffee. Yes, good, good. Perfect. I was actually just having coffee in the previous class. Don't forget to count a sheep. <laughs> don't forget Some sheep. Don't forget to count sheep. <laughs> <laughs> and for example, make sure not to use your phone in bed that is a, a very effective advice that's a very effective <laughs> piece of advice okay it's not countable okay so um yes we're gonna work in groups and you're gonna tell the person a number so no you're gonna read any random problem any random problem and the, the your classmates are gonna give you advice using these expressions are you ready or you need more examples I'm ready. 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 Yay. Awesome. Let's do it then. And <laughs> a groups of four, I think there will be. So hold on. Okay, accept the invitation, please. Let's work.
Don't forget to have a copy. <laughs> Make sure sit next someone who uh, <laughs> speak pretty well. <laughs> An intelligent person. <laughs> <laughs> Right, right to study more. Uh, Robert, okay. Robert, Robert. Oh, we barely hear you, Paul. Try to try to study more. Try to study more. Paul, speak try louder, to, please. Try to study more. For Robert. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. okay, we have three. It's your turn, Tadla. Ah, my turn. Um, uh, yeah. Eat healthy five times of the day. This is the boys' club, huh? <laughs> Can you hear Julia? I think her microphone is not working. So. Maybe. Maybe be sure to eat on time. Yeah. Another another problem. Uh, if fifty eight. I am thirsty and the fridge is empty. Oh, whoa, really? Uh, do you know what it is? Yes. Or maybe. Okay. Um, try to buy a bottle of water in the Next store, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> In the store next door. It's no, uh -huh. Yes, yes. <laughs> uh -huh, very yeah, good. maybe remember to do the the super supermarket. The grocery shopping. Or the grocery shopping. Right. Yeah. It's too late now. He's thirsty right now. <laughs> uh, he's too late. He's too... He needs something more still. He's thirsty. Uh, yeah. Okay. For example, um, how about you get some tap water, but make sure to boil it first. Boil it. Uh -huh. Tap water, if you open the, the tap, right? Grab some water, but make sure to boil it first before you drink it. Oh. That's, that's another right. option. Yeah. <laughs> All right, go on. Try to remember um, to family loves you. Try to what? remember. I know in that case you wouldn't use to. Try to remember that your family loves you. Because it's not an instruction, it's more like try to remember oh, okay. that. Try to remember it's already the, the, the instruction. That family loves you. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Right. Um, okay. I think my boyfriend is cheating on me. Um <laughs> twenty seven. <laughs> try, try to get another boyfriend. <laughs> Or something. an extra boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> to match the situation, right? Make it equal. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. That's... What do you think, Paul? What should I do? <laughs> yeah. Speak of the problem. Speak about the problem. I am depressed. Okay. depressed. Yeah, but Paul, I had try to make sure to, don't forget to. Be sure to try to use one of those so that it sounds more like a recommendation. Yes, and uh, don't forget to uh, the positive 
thinking. <laughs> he wants me to forgive this imaginary boyfriend. And I'm just gonna <laughs> break out. That's it. I'm gonna break up. <laughs> make make sure to say to him what bothered you. Uh -huh, okay. Yeah, I don't have a boyfriend, don't worry, but thank you. Thank you very be much. Be sure to <laughs> kick him. <laughs> and be sure to kick him before you <laughs> break up with him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just playing. All right. Make sure to have a boyfriend. Make sure to have no, I don't need one. <laughs> All right, one more and we're gonna finish. Yes. Let's do one more and with this we're gonna finish. One more. Okay. Okay. And Julia uh, no. Try to use a negative form. No. Negative. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna state a problem. Let me see. Yes, I don't know, maybe. I hate my job. I, I want to be. I want to be rich. You want to be rich? Mm. Okay, try the, not to dream so much. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to be cruel. <laughs> try to be realistic. <laughs> what would you say, guys? Yeah, I know. You. Don't waste your, no, I don't know, don't. Remember, not. Or make sure not to, not to buy uh, unnecessary things. Yes. Um, unnecessary things? Unnecessary things, I think. Okay, very good. Right, good job. Let's go back. We're going to do an exercise now. Okay. Uh, 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 hold on. Here we are. All right. So uh, some of you had fun with this activity. <laughs> some of you yeah. just, just did it. <laughs> just to get it out of the way, but it's okay. Ah, no, no. Sorry, don't accept it. That was a mistake. <laughs> so look, uh, we're going to do this exercise. Let's conjugate it in the right way. Number one. And no way. What do you think we're talking about with this advice, Noem? Try to keep to keep it close to protect the screen. I can see the option. A laptop computer. Mm -hmm. It could be the one. Okay, number two, Fatima. Don't forget to write down your secret code. Mm, I guess a. Uh, Alarm system? Yes, it could be. Okay, Fernando. Remember to turn it off as soon as you come in the in the door. Okay. Uh, I think can be an alarm system. Yes, because otherwise it goes off. All right, four. Carla? Uh, try not to get it wet or the keys may get stuck. Yay, good. You connected uh, this down. So say, try not stuck. to. Try, try. Like, so try not to get it wet or the keys may get stuck. Uh, alarm system? Ah, this is the, the cell phone actually. But now we have a laptop. Phone. Now we have this is a laptop. Piece. I think they're talking about the the old the, phone. I think it's the is is the laptop. Yes, when you the laptop computer. Okay. Oh yeah, that makes more sense actually. Number five, Roberto. Make sure to set to set it each 
it's time you leave home. Mm -hmm. Alarm system. Yeah, very good. You set an alarm. Even the phone guys, when you want to wake up early, you set the alarm. And when it starts, go, so, 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 that's go off. Okay. Number six, Jose. Yeah. Number six. Remember to recharge the batteries before they die. Cell phone. Uh, cell phone. Yeah. Okay. Seven. Four. You're on mute. Turn it off before bed or a call may wake you up. That's an old approach. That would be a cell phone, right? Cell phone. Cell phone. Yeah. Yes. Very good. Let's see. And everything is right. Excellent job. Great teamwork. Okay. Yeah, section 2.10. We have made a lot of progress. We're going fast. Okay, can you read the objective, please? No way. Okay. In this class, you will read an article about technology in the future. Develop a skill in, in identifying paragraph topics and reading for a specific information. Okay, this is technology. G -G. Technology. And this is develop. Develop. Yeah. Develop. So this is me. spelled. Spelled double L. All right. And let's see if we can do it. A day in your life. Okay, you know how we're gonna do this, right? We're gonna read this article and answer questions. Simple as that. We're gonna do it in pairs. So take turns reading one paragraph each. Okay, but first let me ask you, is there any new vocabulary so you can understand the thoroughly? Look. Here, for example, na, 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 getting around, working, relaxing, shopping, and communicating. No, right? Daydreaming, you know the meaning of that? The meaning of daydreaming? Mm -hmm. No? Mm -hmm. It's like, uh, uh -huh. mm -hmm. sorry, can, can you repeat? Yes, do you know the meaning of daydreaming? It's like a dream come true? Mm. A daydream come true? No. <laughs> have you seen? Have you seen those? Maybe music? when you are thinking. I had those music videos right on the bus. They're like like this. I'm thinking. Yes, you're thinking in something. Oh, okay, okay. So it's, like, it's like, 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 like dreaming uh, awake. Uh -huh. Daydreaming. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I would like you to take reading one paragraph each and then do an exercise. We only have seven minutes to do it. So let's do it quickly. All right. Okay, I'm going to finish okay. on the platform anyway. So let's work in there. Now we have six minutes. So let's do it quickly. Here we go. Isolation, please. Hi. Yeah. Okay, let's start reading. So, so you can begin. Okay, in the first paragraph, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. You're dreaming. No, you are daydreaming behind the wheel of your car, but that's okay. You had it in automatic pilot, and with this high tech computer, your car knows how to get in your home safely. 
Yeah, next, Roberto. You, continue, Roberto. you help for the kitchen when you get home. You order groceries by computer. Get a hamburger or pizza. Now you use a, your gymnastic machine to find out which foods your body needs. Your food preparation machines make you a salad. <laughs> After lunch, you go down the hall to your mop. Here you have everything you need to do your work. You never have to commute to work anymore. They are children who life. Now things are changing so quickly that we don't even know what our own lives will be like in a few years. What follows is how experts see the future. Right. Let me read, please. Uh, okay. You're, day you're daydreaming behind the wheels of your car, but that's okay. You have it on automatic pilot. And with this high-tech computer, your car knows how to get you home safely. And you heal for the kitchen. You have, you you have, have for the you have. Yes. You have for the kitchen when you get home. You order gros groceries, groceries by computer. Groceries. Groceries. By computer um, an hour ago. Um, they are being delivered. Deliver. Yeah. You pay for them before. Uh, false. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You pay for your groceries when they arrive. No. False. People don't use cash anymore. It's true. True. You you usually buy a hamburger or pizza for lunch. False. Okay, if you couldn't finish answering the questions, do it right after class, okay? So let's try to finish all the way till section 2.10. Guys, uh, have you noticed, did you notice that all of whatever is here, look, in the year 2020, this year, mm -hmm. have you realized that everything that's said here is already happening except the automatic car? Everything. Mm -hmm. This is all the things the present right now. Uh -huh. yeah. 2020, they were right. It just happened. Home office. In, in El Salvador, automatic car is not happening, but in the United States, yes. And the United States, it is with, with Tesla. Tesla. Tesla, yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. So everything is already uh, so They were right. The last paragraph says about television that is comparable. Uh, Netflix, I don't know. Netflix, that yeah. would be Netflix. You're talking to somebody in Argentina right now in a video conference, imagine. So yeah, everything is already happening in 2020. Interesting. So answer the questions, please. Don't leave it for later. It will take you three minutes to answer the questions and that's going to be it. Questions about the vocabulary? Mm. No. Okay. No? All right. Well, no. can you finish this activity, please. And thank you very much for joining me. I hope you have a great weekend. Try to enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. I enjoy it. At the next Monday, right? Thank you. I'll see you until Monday. That is right. Okay. Okay. Bye. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.